Okay, that's good. Hey guys, it's Lydia, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, and I already hate this video. I'm gonna be honest, recently I've been super depressed, so that's what you're seeing in this video right now. A little while ago, I filmed a video with my pal Solomon, and uh, we just tumbled on this air track, and it was sent to me by Sylvan, I think that's what you call it. And um, I never actually did a review on it. So basically, it was just me flipping on it. It was super cold, and I couldn't do anything hardly on it. So today, I'm actually gonna do an honest review. They are no longer paying me for these review videos, so this is an honest review. I'm not being paid off to say lies. They actually sent me the pump because I messaged them and I said I don't have the pump and I don't have a pump that will work with this thing. So they actually did send me one. This is the pump. Um, you have to plug it in so I already pumped it up. And um, there are different pieces that come with it but this is just one of the pieces and this is the one that works with it because you have to like cover up the entire hole. I'll show it in a minute. It looks like a little grenade. It's super cute and it's cool. So yay, thank you Sylvan. Let's get started. So this is what we're looking at right now. It is 10 feet long and three feet wide. That right there is the air pump thingy place where you put the nozzle in and you pump it up. It's very self-explanatory. As you can see, there is a line down the middle and the little crossy thing. Um, I don't know exactly what that's for. It's possibly for beam skills, like if you're a gymnast and if you wanna practice tumbling on a line, that's what you'd use that for. It comes with handles, which is a great perk because I hate to have to carry things all the way down in my yard and they don't have handles. And there's also Velcro on the end so you can connect it to other uh, tumbling tracks. Also, just BT dubs. The last time I filmed with this thing, it wasn't pumped all the way up, so I couldn't exactly review it thoroughly. Well, since it has a pump, it's pumped all the way up now, so it's very firm. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the material. The material is like rubber, so it stops you from like falling, basically, unless your feet are wet and you're wearing tennis shoes. Then you'll fall, but even in socks, I'm not slipping when I do that. At the same time, you can still spit on it. So yeah, I didn't slip and slide at all on this thing. This thing's very solid. At the same time, it's very comfortable to land on. You can land on your back, your head, your butt, and it doesn't hurt. I did that plenty of times the first day I tried it. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the usefulness of it. It's called an air track for a reason. This thing is very bouncy. I thought it was gonna be more like, kinda of like a mattress, very dense, and you just kind of like hit it and you're comfortable to a certain extent, but you're still like sinking into it. That's not this thing at all. It is a air track. It is very bouncy. As you can see, there are certain points in the air track where it bends when I'm bouncing on it. Uh, those are just weak points. Weak points are to be expected in any kind of equipment. There's a right and wrong way to use the equipment. Um, so you definitely want to be careful when you're tumbling on it and know the weak points of whatever item that you're using. Going on to like mental blocks and stuff, as far as not being scared to do certain things on it, I have attempted front flips on this and I was obviously a little bit nervous, but not bad enough. So I was like, I'm gonna die if I try this. You know, it's not like you're doing it on the ground or anything. So it does help with mental blocks, at least in my opinion, but everybody is different when it comes to mental blocks. Only something that I would say, get and try it out just to see if it does help you with mental blocks because it's not painful to land on. Okay, so now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm actually gonna start doing some skills on this thing. Um, that's basically the end of the review. 
it's waterproof by the way I forgot to say that um, you could definitely like make this into like a little slip and slide I've seen people do it all the time so definitely go for that when it's summertime cats love it cats have the, given it the official approval yay Max <laughs> you made my day you made my day you made my day you made my day, you made my day, you made my day, oh, day, oh. Princess of mine, what have I done to deserve your royal time? Cause when you chose me, a simple just me and my I'm gonna do an aerial attempt and um, wrap up this video. <laughs> that gave me so much spring, it actually scared me. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Woo. Ah, I don't know why I go you guys enjoyed this video if you want to get your own Sullivan air track which personally I do recommend as far as if you're gonna get any kind of gymnastics equipment you might as well go big or go home and I would consider this right up next to a panel mat if I could have chosen any kind of gymnastics equipment if I only could have one I would choose an air track and this one's really good um, and if I was gonna get a bigger one then obviously I just get a bigger one but an air track is one of those things that would be the first thing that I would want to get Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. And comment down below your favorite piece of gymnastics equipment that you have. Subscribe to become a Lisa Bird, join the flock, and get your wings today. And don't forget to check out my second channel because I upload vlogs and more sit down videos just more into my life than just, you know, flipping on stuff. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Maybe. Bye. I just wanted you to watch me dissolve